Hello, today we're going to be showing you another example of a lookup relationship. So, so I have an object pet and it's kind of like a student object, just a little different, like ma mainly made for like pet. And now we're just going to, oh yeah, I need to tell you what I have. So this is what I have so far, description, an animal owned and being took care of by a human on the fields of relationships is animal which is the type of animal it is and it's a pick list and the birth date and created by well <laughs> that's not the ones i made it's like and also the, the pet name did i make that i think i i think i made that and I, I don't think i i don't know <laughs> And now we're gonna make a new object called the uh, owner. So let's make another one called owner. Owners. And the description is gonna be the human that owns, or the person who owns and a pet. And then. Just leave it like that and let's see, allow search. Um, and you click all of these and you also let it stay deployed and click allow search. And I already did that because I was trying to like find out what I needed to do. And let's just click save. And now we made it. So the person who owns a pet. Now we're gonna go to fields and relationships. Well, so we're just gonna make another field on pet. So what we're gonna do is make it the lookup relationship. Click next. And we're gonna be searching for the owner over here. Click next. And our owner, owner, and it's going to be the description, the person that owns this pet, and then just copy and paste that. And we don't need to care about this thing. And click next. And now we're just going to click next. <laughs> you can hear that. We can hear that. You guys can hear that, right? And how annoying that is. So please stop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now we're just going to click save. And then, <laughs> come on. And then, so now we made it. And look, there's two owners, but that's just because one of them is just like the one who made it. And now this is the owner one, and what we do next, I actually had to delete it because I realized I did something wrong. So, you know, like, look up relationship, click next, make it owner, and hit there, and click next. But I forgot to put that last. And I forgot to tell you that I was supposed to click required. Over there. So now I'm just recreating it and saying the person that owns a the this okay. And they might look like I'm reading what my words are by going like this. But that's just so I can just like look at my face. Because I can see my face looking over there. So just in case you were wondering. I was just doing that. And yep, so now we click next. And click next. And click next. And then we click shave. Not shave, but save. And now we have made it. And what we do next is go search for the the what is it again oh yeah the owners is it and now we search 
pets. There it is. And I'll show you. This is what I have. And this is because the previous pets I've had are Pico and Aslan. Pet Aslan was the first pet I had. Well, not the very first pet I had. I had fish before. But this is like the first, like, one that I could touch. And, but then we, we gave Aslan back. And we got Pico. Oh yeah, I forgot about Paco. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna add him back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add him. Paco's over here. Paco. <laughs> okay, well, what? I'm gonna ask my mom when Paco was born. When was Paco born? Yeah. What year and what month and what day? May twenty. That was Pico, not Paco. Let's <laughs> speak. Pico, May twenty two. But Paco, but what's Paco? May twenty. May twenty. Well, why are they really close to each other's age? It's weird. Yeah. Or is that a coincidence? How dare you say that? So Pico is twenty two, and and Paco is twenty. I'm from that. Oh, what's your best They were not even. What? Yeah, but. Wait, what year was. What year was Paco born? <laughs> okay, she doesn't know, so I was gonna do 2015. And the animal is dog. And this. And I'm gonna add a new owner, too. So the owner's gonna be. Mo my mom's name or my dad's name? Mom, who bought it? Who bought Paco? You or Dad? Uh huh. What's your <laughs> not what's your name? But I already know what her name is. Let's do Claudia, cause <laughs> cause that's more but easier to pronounce than Owe. Wait, actually Owe's easier, but Claudia seems more longer and. Usually that's what some people call her. Like, well, that's her nickname, basically. Like her nickname. And then we click save. And we made Paco. And look, that's his owner, Claudia. I'm just gonna put in her last name, too, because I... Actually, we don't have to. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it like that. And... Oopsie. What happened? No, oh, did I delete it? I uh, hopefully not. Don't say I did. I'm gonna refresh. Hello, so we're done, and I just went on a walk with my dog. So that's why. That's why it's kind of I'm kind of, you know, I don't remember what I did before, but I think it was I made Paco. And I think I'm done. Let me see. Oh, wait. I'm not done because I have to put the owner on as I'm on Pico, too. So I'm just going to do the same thing because... Wait, who bought Aslan? Who bought Aslan? You or Papa? Who bought Aslan? Both of you? What are I doing here? I'm just gonna do my dad because it doesn't. Okay, there. Oh, I, <laughs> I had to make a new one. I forgot. Okay, Jimmy. Tens. Wait, do I need to type tens on? I'm just gonna do it. Okay, now we click on save. There. Now we go to where we were before. We go to Pico and change the owner now. Now who bought Pico? Who bought Pico? Okay, so Jim, Jimmy, and then after that I can choose this one. Jimmy Tanzel, and now we click save. 
and I think my work here is done and I hope you understand now after watching all the videos and yeah so more is gonna come soon I think because my dad's gonna make some more oh yeah I think he will probably because there's a lot to say all for us and I'll see you someday again.